Yes, now YouTube, what is a welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we have the EAFC 5v5, 5v5, fucking hell, I'm German. 5 versus 5 rush deep dive trailer. Um, this is something that I've not thinking about playing, but if EA could change my mind, they have a new customer. Not that I'm buying anything, but yeah, let's just get into this. So, let's get into this. Young Philly. FC brings the the man, the myth, the legend, the angry change. For the first time ever. Introducing Rush. High face. Oh, yes. This year. Breno and Danilo, take it away. Rush 5v5 is something completely new to the FC franchise. 5v5 has everything that 11v11 has to offer. But okay. On a smaller pitch. It's a new way to oh, so is a small pitch. Okay, good, good, good. While gameplay will feel the same as any match in FC25, there are some notable differences that make Rush special. Mm -hmm. Each match starts with a new kickoff experience that sees players rushing towards the halfway line to see who can claim possession. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, that that provides a different aspect towards the game, which is definitely interesting. And obviously, the, I think they're going to go over the um, sort of ultimate team side with this as well, but... Um, yeah, this looks interesting. And to accommodate the smaller pitch, we have changed the offside rules so that a player can only be offside in the attacking third. Only offside in the attacking third. There are no red cards in rush. Wait, oh, let's go back. Can... And to accommodate the smaller pitch, we have ch changed the offside rules so that a player can... So in that area, they can only be offside. So if you pass it before, then that's interesting. Only be offside in the attacking third. There are no red cards in rush. No red cards. When a fall happens, blue cards are issued. Blue cards. Station from the pitch. If the opposition scores, the offending player will return to the pitch faster. We learned a lot. That's interesting. You um get to a point of you just snap and snap and snap and you get blue cards. Meaning you're not going to be on the pitch and you have to wait certain amount of time interesting okay from past small-sided game modes which helped shape the design and feel of rush weaker matches zero long-term fatigue <laughs> and a clock that counts down to the final whistle okay clock down. in case of a draw matches go to golden goal followed by a new kind of 101 penalty yep shirt. mls penalties nike has designed a new custom stadium just for rush in yep we've seen that clubs. we'll have more on that later this summer Match day feels very different from other experiences in FC. With new broadcast overlays, cinematic so drones, players, cinematics. From and we're underway. You know, we mentioned this finally, we have a new commentator. Someone different. Diary from Fernando Listen. And we're underway here. If you can add, if there's an option to add him as your main commentator, oh my god, it adds so much sort of new to the game it makes the game feel so much better we mentioned can't wait earlier, yes. you're from your club and you control that player for the entire match which makes the experience feel much more personal okay so you control in the whole match it's the perfect complement to that's that's nice of rivals and champs and you can continue to earn rewards for your ultimate team squad progression in club let's go it's all about playing as a team as well prioritizing winning games over individual performances right every win contributes a victory point to your club's tally and improves your individual rush rank taking you one step closer to exciting seasonal rewards so if you are ranking up if you're focusing on the wins and most people sadly focus on the goal side and the assist side it's not that bad don't do it. Just focus on the wins and you can get more progress and rewards. That's going to be interesting. What would the rewards be? Probably fans or something like that. Pro hopefully, you know, more currency in the game. You know, you could buy like cool packs, you know, with the Pro Clubs cards. Because we have seen that on the trailer for um, the original first trailer i believe it was cl with cl clubs it was a currency it might have been the gameplay dive Rush we'll see integrated into youth academy in manager career all sent you can manage the youth academy oh my god why am i only just finding out about this it's a 5v5 for 
apps that allow players to have more Karim mode. youth academy development taking the traditional skill games training we've had in fc to something more fun wait this is actually levels you can help grow your youth based off of this rush holy shit so i could make like a um, young harry maguire or a young Bubba Gargoli or a young Stefan Schwab in career mode. Or something like that. I could join the team and then, oh my god, that's levels. And progress through the rush way rather than everything else. That's levels. The frustrating part of the beautiful game is communication. Quick chat. In the match, can... Why is this turning into Fortnite? It's this fucking Fortnite. I assume we'll have fucking emotes at this point. It's a nice feature, but there's no need. To your team. Like, add it to clubs. That's the only thing you need to clubs. In real time. Or use the right stick to signal now that is good. Let's go back. In real time. Or use the right stick to signal to your teammates where you want to go. That is going to be good. Using the right stick to tell them where to go. Now that is. A good feature. I give a round of applause to EA Sports. Okay, that's it. Everything that you need to know about Rush. I don't know about the rest of you, but I am. Okay, that's it. That's a new celebration. Boxing match. Everything that you need to know about Rush. So, based off of that trailer, what are my thoughts? I like it. In some respect. I believe the quick chat could definitely only be used for clubs. But then again, that's my personal preference. The run, telling people to run with the right stick is so helpful, you know. Uh, rush manager career, there are elements to this that is levels uh, with the Youth Academy, but it can be a bit jarring. Clubs, we'll see. Uh, rush on my team, obviously, was the main game mode it was coming for, but I am um, kind of wanting to just demo it to see how it is um but we'll have to see the match to experience w new commentator as well that's a w um new penalty shoot arts we knew they were coming so i'm all right with that blue cards we finally see getting use for the first time ever they were really introduced in real life but they haven't been sort of touched so it's nice to actually know that they're there but yeah in total i'd give this probably a six out of ten um, do I think I'd play it? We'll have to see. Um, you can see a lot of people are not very um, happy that EA have just made the same game and just just gotten rid of Alter and put in Rush, but you know, each to their own. Um, but yeah, um, 6 out of 10 to be honest. When is the next live? I believe it might be career mode. We were told we would get clubs in July. Today's the last day of July. As I'm recording, it is the 31st of July. Um, the issue with that is the issue with that is um, that means that now goes into August. But we got clubs, ultimate team, which is the main bit I'm interested in. I don't care about anything else. Ultimate team is my my genre. Um, I love it. If you call it genre, game mode, whatever you fucking call it. Career mode is probably second optional. I used to sweat career mode a lot, but I don't ever. Uh, but, but I don't anymore because um it's fell off quite a lot. Uh, we can see quite a bit here. Um, division rivals will obviously be points. And so I've already gone over everything in terms of what you can expect. You know, for um, EFC twenty five and Ultimate Team. As you see, different storage is the main reason I'm interested. You know, um, but yeah. Um, I've gone over everything technically in the um, official gameplay dive and the uh, official reveal from my past videos. Um, so if that helps, uh, you can go back and watch them just to get a brief oversight on what my thoughts are. But yeah, that is going to be me for this video. If you guys have enjoyed this video and do want to see more videos like this, then please do leave a like, comment down below. So it does mean the world. And yeah, I am out. Take care. Peace.